Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone, hope you're okay. What is Tonic Live? Well, it's a part of the week where we show you a brand new tonic launch or something just on the horizon and Alison does a little bit of a demo, our crafter in-house, um, the centre point of craft in the universe, Alison Weaven, she <laughs> does a, a make or craft, uh, something like that, uh, to, to show you how it's done and uh, and to explain the range or something that we we're talking about uh, a little bit better so you to understand. As you can see, everything up front, we're lucky we're enough. Joined by a bevy of booties. Exactly, today, the we? samples haven't gone uh, up to Jody yet, so that means they, well, they're We've here to have actually held on to them to show you. Most of the time, they're up there. They're already on in the DHL van or whatever we've used, and and they're on their way. But uh, yeah, this time we've got them, and as you can see, maybe you've seen kind of sneak peeks or something before. But these are uh, concertinas, aren't they? They certainly are. Um, and they can range from a tiny little project to a massive project. Um, I'll show you some of the smaller projects first. I mean, all these, it's hard to believe, but all these are made with the same die set, even though they all look very, very different. So this is going to be something that I know those of you that like to use your imagination to do something a little bit different with the sets, this is what you are going to enjoy. Um, so we have got. Let me show you. Oh, there's you. so many different, uh, like different types of stuff. So what? If I show you this one, the this broad is, category, this is so we can go one. to. So that, yeah. So if, if we go through like sort of the broad categories of, of what you can do with with them. Let me. So this on one, that. this one I made just to give a little gift. So you've got a little pocket on the front. Oh, I'm going to pop that one down just for a sec, so you can see. So we've got room there for a little card. So it's a little thank you gift. So the card sits in a little pocket in the front and then we've got another pocket in the back with a bar of chocolate in there. So it's just something just to give. It looks really pretty, I think, and they'll never think it's it's a small no, no. present. It's, you know, to them, it's, it's a big present. So I'll just tie that up and we'll be showing you how to make some of these. Jodie will have loads of demonstrations on the show. Um... It's going to be Monday anyway. The show. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be Monday. Uh, we're just getting the finalised times for you uh, for Monday. But yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be great. And yeah, and you've got as you, you're going to see, you've got like home decor. You've got this kind of storage. You've got gift giving. So you've got you've little got, cards yeah, inside. Cards that people have been done. Um, lots of lovely people with us. Yeah. Linda, Aisha, Vicky. Is this a craft kit? No, not craft kit. This is a a Tonic Studios die launch. If you don't. If you if you know us, if uh, for Tonic Studios, you may know us for dies, you may know us for Nuvo, you may just know us for Craft Perfect, you may know us for our tools, uh, things like that. Well, well, we do die launches very regularly, uh, usually UK based, and then they make their way over to the US. But yeah, if but where we sell them, which is on TV shopping uh, in the UK, creating craft TV, and we sell them on our website as well. Uh, you can order, and we ship worldwide, so you'll be able to you'll be able to get our dies all over the place. So. Ali's being like a trolley dolly. I know. Still say that I just that. want to keep showing you because there's so correct, many different that, things. So they're a filing system. They're a gift. They are a reminder system. Recipes. Um, I'll show you the. Let me show you some of these. Lovely, yeah. Like, and then I can show you the the dice. A set recipe then. one that'd be like lovely like that. It's just something that you can have on the corner next to your egg timer or whatever, and you just pick out your your recipes or something that you've done. So here we've got little tags. So inside all these, we've got little tags with hello. This is made by Sue. And um, Sue loves to do it. She's done it before, a thankful jar. And this is kind of on those lines. So there's all little tags in there with little things, sometimes dream big, love life. The little things that we can be grateful for in our lives. Um, because often, we kind of forget them. Yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, like so a, lot, a lot of people are with the memory books. It's probably the, you know the success of those. Keeping little scraps and bits and pieces from your days and days and days and days 
it's a nice way to remember it without it always being a Facebook thing or you're having a photo. Exactly. Other little things which you can't put on Facebook. You can't put like a cinema stub or something like that where you went there. You can't do that on, on Facebook. So, If you're doing a wedding, these can be, right, what have I got to do this week, next week, the week after? What have I got to organise? It can all go in here. This is your filing system. So again, this one, oops, I'm knocking them over as I'm going. We've got um, Monday to Sunday on you. So we've got days of the week, little pockets, put everything in. Could be, um, you know, the kids need things for school each day. Write your list, pop it in there. They need the dinner money one day. They need something else another day. And I, I know, like a few, a few people say, and they got um, already broke from last week, they see, and, and you spent a fortune Because I know we've, you've loved our launches I so know. far. You've loved the boxes. You've loved the tags. Well, these, you know, even if, you know, it's not suitable for, for you to have them out, they're going to be available in 30 days' time on the website, which will be something that you're looking for for next month. And they're an all-year-round sort of product. Again, like, you know, there's nothing... Of our festive launches this year, it, like, it was not, they're not too Christmassy or, or anything like no. that. They've, like, they're, they're all-year-round dimensions and products. So, yeah, that's it. So, you know, they just they just happen to be part of that, that thing. So these are going to be utility ones for all your year and yeah special occasions all that so you've sort of got stuff. a birthday book so there's in there's a stamp set that goes with this kit um and it's got all the months of the year it's got the days of the week it's got all the numbers um i can't remember what else is on it because i haven't got the stamp set with me but lots of little things like that um christina's done a novo book so yeah this is good she's made the little book and inside then, she's done her colours for her aquaflows, her markers. Show, show it on that one now. Go on. Get on there. All right, can you see there now? So she's got all the colours. So you can colour match with these. There's more. By the way, everyone, Cameron, who's in the other room now, he's on the thing. Uh, he's put together the, the downloads. So all the downloads that you ask us for, so the swatches, the kind of thing that you're seeing there in, in that little lovely... Um, uh, the box there, what you, you they're on the website now. So tonic studios.co.uk. There's a download section on the top of the page, and you'll find all the things there your charts, your bits and pieces, sort of PDFs for the uh, makes for the kits, things like that. They're all on that the website now. So you got there, you don't have to be a member of the Facebook group to go in there and get them. They're on the website, so check that out. So well done, Cameron, for sorting that. Um, it's all there for you, all right. This is just, and then this is our gems. Uh, yeah. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So As they the all are. I'm trying different. to lean forward. They're just really different, different all of them. Like you've got a nice, like the rainbow one there, like you can see on the on the. There we are. Look, there's a little box of chocolates in there. No, look at my one. <laughs> right, there's there's the rainbow one. <laughs> I rain. tell her when I had an idea, and I wished I'd had time to do it. You know the hungry caterpillar. You know the story of the hungry caterpillar. This would be a fabulous one for school because you could pull out something from each of the pockets of what the caterpillar's eaten for today. So if you're talking about foods with your children That's in your nice. class <laughs> and you good, want them to try different things, get excited about the so, way you're doing it. And, and this is just some of the items. There's like a few... There's a few other pieces like which we, we've done for these, which are like mind blowing as well, which you're gonna absolutely love. Exactly. So they're just like they they're crazy, you know. If you love, if you love the makes where you just take something and you just make it yeah. absolutely mad. Some of the makes where you're gonna see are just they are. I they are the projects it, just that amazing. you've wanted to make. <laughs> they really are. Well, I don't even sure I get the imagination to come up with some of the like the, awesome, the, the concept. Yeah. They're brilliant. Yeah. So this could be hanging your hallway. This could be your post goes in it, um, your reminders for the day, right, I've got to take this with me tomorrow, that and the other, and it's all there ready. Yeah, Helen said reminders. This is yeah. from um, our Julie. Yeah, that, well, Julie's recently Julie's joined. Julie's just so joined our team. Really, so really good beautiful. stuff, Julie. Awesome. And then we've even taken it into, this is just a page that would go into a scrapbook. So we've held it in with a little magnet, and these will flip forward. You put your little special things in there, uh, cherished places, so you've got all your little notes. And then if I flip it over, you've got reminders and dates. So 
so that's a lovely little one for your scrapbooking as well good morning youtube lots of people uh, in texas like you're all over the place on, on youtube oh, always but there um lisa's loving the accent just across the doorstep and say yes little things so so how many of these are you going to be making today i'm just going to do one small oh. one today just to give you an idea because i think i've tried to show you as much as i can we've got another little one here on a stand so if you've got a stand you can pop on the back this is dates cherished places recipes and special things there's I can't pick out one of these because they're all they're absolutely all so good. awesome. And all so different, you know, it's not there's not uh, one sort of thing. I've got... There's a little lid on this one with a little card in, so you could give somebody a little set of cards. Oh, um, so, yeah, a spreadsheet of all the dyes, or the dyes that are active. Yeah, you, any ideas like that, tag Crafty ca Cameron in there. I'm sure he's oh, my to say it. But like, um, if there's a download out there and we can put it on there, we'll, we'll try or do our best. I'm not even sure like there is like a, an, a little big spreadsheet around yet, but I know we, like you've been asking a little while a tick sheet to see what, what you may have missed. Exactly. Sometimes as well, this is our loose card. I mean, she's gone completely out of the box with this one. Look at your dies in a totally different way. She's used the tag shape to make baubles for a tree and then she's used the decoration with it and then December the 25th is in the stamp set. So look at your dies differently and have a little think what you can do with them. But they are absolutely amazing. Awesome. Yeah, really, absolutely really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to make a little bit of room now so I'm going to... I'll, I'll put them safely the in the box. Um, we, we were just speaking just before, before the show. We were talking about... Um, things that you have when you were young which like n none of us in the room really had anything like this but you know like a, like um sort of a blanket that you well, like anyway, yeah none of us want to admit i don't that, think that, that. i did see i did have a panda but it was just a toy panda it wasn't a hat to oh, have the panda okay, we with believe, me yeah, we believe you, yeah. Right. but yeah there's like there's a few like i was so just about to tell uh tell him before we were on i thought I'll, I'll tell him when we're live and it was um i think my my mum or my grandma must have broken her, her foot at some point or so, some something that happened and and we and we had this crutch in the house right and my sister used to walk around the house <laughs> she like me for saying she, she used to walk it. around with uh, the house with this crutch all the time just like going from place to place <laughs> with this crutch she's about what, like eight or nine so like that. and uh, and so she uh, had a, a literal crutch she had she had a crutch and you just go around and once my dad is just like I want to get that bloody crutch and uh, get it out of my house and he choked it out the back garden because <laughs> he was just sick it was just such a weird thing to keep happening all the time because yeah. she had nothing wrong with her feet she'd just walk around with this one crutch it's just a it's just a weird like we do it weird funny, stuff when we're, we're kids like you, you just do. like you I used do. to you know like you sit upside down on the on the chair when you were a kid and like I'd oh, kick the football around in the living yeah. room like, all the time and my mum would just be like stop kicking the ball in there <laughs> I used to have my head on the floor <laughs> And then my legs would be like where your head should be. <laughs> yeah, I'd be watching telly like that. that. <laughs> yeah, and I, that, I did that not long ago, thinking like, what's all the fuss about that as a Why kid? did I do it? Yeah, and then I was doing it as fast. Yeah, I came into the office yeah. and Dan was just upside down. Was upside down <laughs> in my chair, <laughs> typing away. <laughs> as you do. And I always lay on the floor. I think it was because we had a full house. Because mm. my grandparents lived with oh, me. Yeah. And I hated being the middle of the sofa. Mm. Did not like sitting in the middle of the sofa, so I would rather sit on the floor. I like sitting because, because we had a dog and stuff. I always like sitting on the floor, like stroking the dog. So yeah. I don't like. I just like being like fussing the dog, really. But yeah, so if you anything, not necessarily weird stuff, you do, but anything that you had that you you know, like a blanket or something like that that you kept. Hang on, that's the one I make. Hang fire. Oh, he's okay. getting a little bit. I'm getting a bit um, ahead of once himself. Once I start this one is going. That one can go, yeah. And then we got an empty deck. So this is the die set. So as you can see, it's another one that's a full house die set. So what is the die that does the workhorse in the set? It's this die here. And that is what makes all your pockets. So I'll make a start and I'll show you where we begin. I haven't even unpacked anything. This is how I come downstairs with all my bits and bobs all shoved in a basket. So you can see how organised I'm not. Right, 
Let's get a few bits and bobs out here. It's out Monday, it is. Uh, everyone's was out on Monday on Crate and Craft TV. Like that, but it doesn't. You don't have to buy it from the TV. It's not like you have to ring up. You can, of course, but you can go on the computer and just order from the website. It's just like a web shop. And 30 days later, so 30 days from now, we'll have it available on our store as well. It's just exclusivity there for the, the time being. Um, and then we got... Oh, and Nama's with us. Hey, Nama. Um, still, in, still in Israel, Nama. Um, so it's been ages. I'm still catching up with everything that came out the last month or two. This is officially my favourite till the next release. Is all oh, so bless you. you. Right then. So this is where I started off. So as you can see, there is my shape. If I move that out the way for a minute, because I'll if, need that. Before you can, yeah, the, the two launches, so like the the tags and the boxes, um, there was a, a delay with the, the shipment of the factory getting made and um, and they were just a bit delayed like going out. They'll be with you as soon as they as soon as they're here, they're just going straight out, so they'll be with you. You'll get notification uh, that they've left. So, yeah, it's sorry about the wait, but they'll be with you as it soon as they long. can. It won't be long. It won't be long. So, there are a few score lines on here. I'm hoping you can pick them up on the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what we're going to do, there are three score lines in the centre. So, I'm going to fold on the middle score line. Okay just give it a little bit of a crease and then you have what I'm making now is the holes in the bottom the thread the ribbon through so you have a choice of either little squares depends on how much ribbon you want to put through you can put the little squares and that will give you ribbon all the way across that you can feed through or there's just two little holes one either end well that's the one i've used i thought i'd save a little bit of time um because it does take a little bit of time to pop it all together uh sheila's with us hey sheila um i don't know if anything special but my dad said to give me all my school reports as a present a few years back were you good no were you conscientious as they, they used to say you only really hear that on a report don't you conscientious <laughs> my father gave me one of mine well we, we found it when we were clearing the house out and my son found it in my house the other day and he said in all the flack you gave me over <laughs> my report <laughs> do as i say not as i do <laughs> exactly i was a good girl I don't know why I'm convinced in there, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> they do, it must be like being a teacher and, and filling out all those reports. Oh, they must just use. To, I bet now because it used to be handwritten, like my my ones were. They did. Uh, were, and but now they've just obviously digital people going. Oh, sampled one A, and then they just probably just mix it up like that, and they go insert child's name here. Well, they all had to be, they were called Kalamazoo's when I was in school. And they used to come in a little booklet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did throw it out after. <laughs> it, was, it was the one I had in Form 5, and it was just before I did my O-levels. And I, it wasn't a very good one. That could, be, that could be a nice thing to keep, like for, like for using your, maybe your memory books or your concertina boxes exactly. when they can. Keep the old school reports in there and have like yeah. years like going through. Because it's such an... It's such an awesome thing to, because you can't even remember those yourself as that child when you look back no. on those things. No, you can't. So it's it's surprising if there's anything that you notice in yourself now. To be honest, like when I look back at some of the ones of mine, I'm the, some of the really bad ones. I I don't think they made a moment to my parents. Like the <laughs> the ones with the, like oh gee, yeah. <laughs> like I know there was a certain report where I would uh, well, I don't think it made it. Up. There was oh, good, there was some gee, good yeah. subjects, but. Ah, oh, it was just a bad year for maths, that one was for me. <laughs> Everyone was at it though, nobody had a good one, so it's not, <laughs> it's not. Right, so how do we put this together? Right, this is the start of it. There's two little tabs on the front, and we're going to fold those inwards. So give all your, your score lines a nice burnish. There we go. So that then is going to stick to the front. And now we're going to put together the pocket for the back. So there's some little score lines on the back. You've got three score lines. And it folds almost like you're making a fan. So the first one goes in. Then out. And again, burnish as you go in. So it keeps your folds nice and crisp. 
and then in again. Well, hi Angela from Arizona, she, she loves this dye. They showed a video of the Christmas dyes and they, and they were sold out 15 minutes after the video was posted. They've gone like super fast, like a, a lot they, of the, a lot of these Christmas day, launches. They? But um, they will all be available in 30 days time. And in the USA, uh, we'll, we'll have them on the store and, and getting them all there for you as well. So yeah, sorry if you missed out, but yeah, Creating Craft TV, they do ship to the US with good pricing. So yeah, give them a go if, you, if you're interested. So that's the start there. And you're thinking, well, that's a little bit weird. You're going to need more than one to make any of these projects. But as always, we try and condense the die set as much as we can. So I'm just going to glue this one together. And pop that little circle out. So it's just a little bit of glue. I find wet glue better because it gives you more strength to your project. I have put some tape on these just for speed. But I find it's not really strong enough. If you want any durability to these projects, is I it, would use wet glue. Is there a certain GSM you, you use with this? Um, the one I've used here is 260 GSM. Um, I would, depends what you want to store in it. I would possibly look maybe a 250 upwards. So that is your, your front pocket all glued together. Then, is a couple I've done ready. So I've glued that one. This then is going to glue on the back. So I've done them in contrast colours just so you can see where they go in. So these tabs here are just going to glue to the next one. And then that one glues to the next one again. So we'll pop a little bit of glue. Um, Lucy, is this, is this the one die set out Monday or are there other new ones as well? There is stamps going with them. Aren't, there are aren't stamps there? to go with them, but I'm afraid I don't have the stamps at the moment. Um, Mary says, I have a number of the nativity table that my granddad made in figures and original straw. I used to help set it up every Christmas Aww. from as young as I can remember. I'll never throw it away. That's, uh, That's that kind part of, stuff. of Christmas, isn't it? That'll always be part of Christmas then. Yeah, I've got. Like I got like a little teddy bear, like a Norman. He's called. But he's after like the guy that won on Fireman Sam, you know the naughty boy. Right. And and he and uh, I had him when I was there. I think they got him in the in the hospital in the what do they call it? The hospital, hospital shop. shop. Yeah, like when I was born. So. Uh, the, um, I have a stocking that uh, I had when it was uh, my first Christmas. I still use that. It's Father Christmas. His eye has fallen off over time, uh, <laughs> so now it's just a one-eyed Father Christmas. Um, but yeah, it's still used for my Christmas. Oh, that's that's good. T traditions are good. Years on, yeah, that is. A very old stuff. I've got baubles on my tree that I have had. Oh my God, probably since it started off when I was a teenager. Some of you may remember this, um, the Generation Game on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Well, my auntie worked in a. Uh, Christmas trimming factory and there was a lady from that trimming factory actually went on to um, the generation game and what she did she wrote in glue a name onto the bauble and then glittered it so of course everybody had a go yeah, then yeah. so everybody that knew her had a bauble with their name on so my auntie had one for me then I got married so I had one for my husband then we had James, so James had one as well, and they, the three of them, still go on the tree every year. It's good, isn't it? It is, good, yeah. it is. Okay, so the next one now is going on, and that's all I'm doing is lining up the side with the tab. So take a little bit of time, and then you'll see the side concertina come in then. So we'll do the same on the other side. Lisa, um, keepsakes and all like the the memory book stuff is all going to be back in on the first week of July. Uh, I'm told by the the trade team. So oh, yeah, sad. not not long to wait. Um, loads of the collection are back in, so we've, we've ordered plenty. And I mean, these will work in with your keepsakes as well. I think this is another keepsake range. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they will go straight. nicely with it. I'm going to try and get this straight now. I have some reindeer from my mum's Christmas tree that I bought here when I was in my teens. That's it. <laughs> like when, when you're a kid, you, you can't really 
like antiques or something old it doesn't really matter that much because you can't really remember you can't remember not <laughs> have it's not very long is it when you're 10 and you've got something or 12 it. it's like well so what is 12 years old so again you just keep going now for however many pockets you want so if you're making your days of the week you're going to want seven pockets how do we finish it off well the last one just has a pocket it doesn't have the back part so what you're going to do you're going to glue the front as you did with the first one let me just pop that down there so glue your front pocket i find it easier to glue this first because it gives you a better angle to cut because you are going to need to do a little bit of trimming so we'll pop that one down and you can make them as, as long as you want or you as put short as many. And, and go. I've done one, I'll give you a little tip for the show. It was a labour of love, I will say. Um, I took a kitchen roll holder. You know the, the ones that you put the kitchen roll onto? Um, and they freestand in. And I put these boxes all around it. So one layer is for putting dies into, your small dies that you use all the time that you're going to keep in your desk they are all in there you can mark them what they are and then i've done another layer then for stamps so that took i think it was 38 for each layer so it took me a little bit of time but it's it's worth it it is worth it yeah well, this yeah, they're amazing the projects you're going to see along with those uh, on the show on monday you're going to absolutely love uh, Lou's asking, what's the difference between the bone folder you're using, so this is the PDF one, isn't it? It um, is. And the metal tipped one. Now, I use them both. I like the metal tipped one as a scorer. The reason I like it as a scorer is because it's got such a fine tip that you've got a really neat line. This one I like because I don't get any marks when I'm burnishing with it. So I like to use the two of them. If, even if I'm using on dark card, if I used a normal one on dark card, it would leave a mark. With this one, let me just show you here. Even on black card, I can rub away there and there's not a mark on that card. And that's not just camera angles, there is no mark there. And I definitely would have had marks there with any other um folder yeah and they, they i think they're pretty sure they're on the website as well so if you are interested in in that uh, on the website and i'm finding that i'm using them when i'm gluing because often you put the glue on and it's it's only catching in certain places if i rub it over with this folder then i'm finding that i'm spreading the glue more and i'm getting better adhesion with it so just a little bit of a, a tip there so my last one now, I've chopped off the side panels and it is just a little pocket. And I'm going to stick that onto the back. I haven't done this in a different colour because I didn't want it to stand out too much. So again, just pop your tape off. And I'm trying to think what's the easiest way to show you. There. How can I show you easier? Is it easier that way? There we go. So I'm lining up at the top, all along the crease line to the bottom. And then the same on the other side. So start at the top, where your crease is, and down to the bottom. And there is your concertina box. And then you just keep going as to however many you want. There's um, I think someone asked about the words and things like that. Yeah, it's got little sentiments with them as well. There are little sentiments. So we have, hang on, I've done a couple here. There's one on here that says reminders. So we've got dates. We have got, what does that one say? We have recipes, um, special things. I'm trying to read these back to front now. Um, cherished places. An index so it covers everything so making the little the little pull out panels then how do we do those let me show you let's get rid of these 
because this lead tape sticks to everything. Um, I've got a few little bits. No, I don't need them from there. I'm all right. I got them here. So making your insert cards. Let's take that one out of the way, and then you can see what we've got. We've got a little square die that on one end hasn't got a cut edge. So pop that onto your card with a little bit of tape. Um, can you get the bone for us separately from the metal tip on? Yeah, it'll be available as, as individual, Daryl. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be um, individual on there. So how much do these dies cost? Um, there'll be a special price on creating crafts. Like the RRP, it will be able to find out um, what it is around that. But yeah, it'll be a they set the price once it goes on there so uh yeah just check on creating craft on monday you'll find out closer closer to the time will the stationary set of dice stationary set of dice work with these please stationary set which ones I know, are that? that's what i'm i'm thinking i'm just wondering what what it is which which dies were those uh see let us know are they the index box you're thinking of because they had a bigger set yeah maybe um so Naomi says, oh, and quick question, do you know when the new storage units and refills uh, are being released, please? Mm, I'm not sure on the exact date on on those. When I know, Naomi, uh, I'll mention it on live and I'll, I'll let you all know. Um, the, the type of storage that you're looking for, is it the the die storage uh, with the, the inserts and things like that? Because I know they've been out of stock, but they'll be back very soon as well. Uh, let me know, Naomi. Okay. Yeah. Right then, so we've got four little tabs that will fit on the top and they will give you these little tabs here. So each one is a different place. There we are. So if we go that way, you can make your filing system with the different tabs. So I need one for the end now, so I'm going to use this one. There is a tiny little indent at the side here, almost like, um, you know, on a flag where you've got a little V. Well, that little V sits right on top of your cut line. So you will have a little bit of a, an indent. So check on that indent, try and keep it nice and straight. And then you know your top is straight then. Um, this is as a teacher wrote in a report, Lisa often says things an adult would rather not hear from a child. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> That's a good thing to have in your report. What do you think of predicting their future for you? Mm. Ominous or just staring into space and saying something like... <laughs> I was a bit of a daydreamer, were... I was. People would say that about me, but I don't mm. know. I didn't really see it. Because like... I was daydreaming. <laughs> 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 So there we go, you've got your your little top tabs all cut then. And you've got a choice of four. So these will all go inside our box. So you can decorate these as you fancy, really. Whatever you fancy doing, they will fit in. Be careful your glue doesn't overlap your tabs because sometimes if you're a little bit overzealous with your glue, um, it does it does creep over and you have trouble popping these in so there's all little tabs for the front we have got a little bit more time so I've done a little bit of die cutting here that I can show you so our panel for the front is this panel with a little V at the bottom but again you know you've seen some of the ladies they've used their some of the girls they have used that um, for card fronts, for lovely little card fronts. Then I've done a black layer and I've used the pattern into that one. So I'm just going to glue these together. And then I had such a whale of a time colouring the other day, I thought I would do a little bit more. And I know I'm not the only one that's enjoying it because I've seen lots of you colouring yeah, with is. your alcohol markers and different things. People have built up quite a collection, with you know, whether it's from the bundles or from the kits and things like that. You've got a good selection of colours now for stuff exactly. that you can work with. So, um, oh, some, uh, a little bit of oh, the, I think yeah, you know, the new storage. I haven't got a date for the 
for that yet, but uh, it shouldn't be too long. The Oxford box, I think Sue was asking The Oxford for. box is a bigger die set altogether, um, so they won't fit in here. And it's no longer available, the Oxford box, so if you, you have got one, then you're, you're lucky. Hang on to it. Yeah, hang on to it. Um, Kim went to see <laughs> Andrew's teachers and they said, no matter where they put him, he never stops talking. Did, did they try boy, girl, boy, girl? The, the least effective. That doesn't The work. least effective. Oh, no, I get to sit next to a girl I, I like. Oh, no. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't. The least effective teacher. They, they take them on teacher training days and then they come back with that. Yeah. That's your. That's how you're going to combat this talking. Yeah, that's your strategy, is it? Boy, girl, boy, girl. Seating plan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> what actually occurs is, and not a one to these, and what actually happens then is, you don't pay attention in class. You just hate the fact that you're there. You never want to learn whatever that subject may be. I, I, loved, I used to love the sort of the thing, as if they're in a big hall, like all the teachers from the local area, and they've got a massive PowerPoint, and they pull back a curtain, and they go, we found it, the way to get kids to stop talking in class, and they go... And then it comes down, they go, boy, girl, boy, girl, girl. the boy, girl system. <laughs> and then this just goes, oh, and everyone gives yeah. a stand innovation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like a head teacher with a big black polar neck and like small glasses. <laughs> yeah, like, Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's goes, you, like, the boy, boy girl, girl system. It's like, you call it something like method or like... Yeah, the boy, boy girl, girl method. That's what they would have it. B, G, B. <laughs> Um, he just to everyone, and uh, one of the dinner ladies keeps keeps him in seconds. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, my teacher at primary school's go going around. It would. <laughs> There's lots of the funny comments here. Um, yeah, Justine, glad you're with us. Love the six new alcohol markers in the Aquaflows. Oh, and when will the new Dreaming Colour Aquaflows be available in the UK? I know everyone's asking about the Aquaflows. Um, those. Cameron. I don't know if he can hear me. I know Cameron's been looking at that for you. Uh, he's been trying to help Kim out with that. Um, we'll check out uh, on it. I know with loads of people are desperate for those dreaming colour ones. It was such a popular trend. These are our coral pen set. There we are. It's oh, the, the, the dreaming colour aquaflows. You know the new, next like when they back month, next yeah. month, is it? Yeah, I've got a bit. I'll find out. I think my message now for that. Yeah, also, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, Lou's asking. Yeah, next month uh, they've come. Um, that's worse. The girls all find him cute and, and love him. Not exactly. They will. That's what. That's the problem. <laughs> you end up just, you know. Oh yeah. There we are. So I've just added a little bit of the darker colour to the middle. I'm just blending it out now and taking it back. A little bit um, but if you if you look at the coral colors that's what the, this color set is not in like the pasteurizing way but your coloring has come on like your coloring you've you've gone into it and you like like you used to say your first thing you say is I'm not a I'm colorist not a, like, I'm, or, or, I'm still not I'm you, still not but I'm enjoying it all the time like you see much more of your stuff with with coloring in yeah now, yeah and, and I've enjoyed doing it and I think that is what the change is yeah you know, I'm still, I'm not one of the colourers that blend everything out. I'm not one of them. There's a place for them and their colouring is absolutely beautiful. But I'm happy with the effect I'm getting and I'm enjoying it. So. Yeah, awesome. The stuff you've This getting. is ginger peach, which is the palest colour. Uh, Christina says, uh, so what's the name of the dice? So these are the co concertina uh, boxes on Monday. Let me get the there exact are. name for you exact and the one. There. Yeah, so con concertina index box die set, uh, and it's going to be on Monday. If you type in just as a trial, you go on just Google and create and craft tea, just create and craft, and it'll come up with the channel. And you can watch live on there. You can see what it's all about. But on Monday, then our dies will be on that front page, and you'll be able to watch live uh, on on the day as well and be able to catch up with the shows and watch them all so they'll all be on there but if you type creatingcraft.com it'll just go straight there as well if you forget as well how we've shown you to put it together there are instructions on the inside yeah. of the packaging because i know you do often ask for instructions and we are trying to to kind yeah. of do it for you yeah tom loving the nouveau markers yeah i've seen some of the coloring you've done with the tom adorables awesome it's awesome coloring. coloring yeah brilliant um, and Catherine, your colouring is looking great as well. Yeah. 
Um, but sometimes I think it's about enjoying. It's about the enjoyment of craft. Yeah, don't get too hung up on the end result. Because you've no, got to enjoy... you've got to enjoy what you're doing. The card I'm colouring on as well is the uh, an ultra smooth card. And by putting the black border, it kind of gives you... It gives you a stopping point. But if you're kind of a little bit heavy-handed, it doesn't really matter. You can get away with it. Christine says, oh great, thank you. So much nice to hear your English accent. Oh, Christina... <laughs> it's a Welsh accent, uh, but yeah. If you come to if you come to the UK, where, where are you based, Christina? Uh, if you come to the UK, yeah, the, you'll hear this accent if you go to the sort of side bit on the west of the UK. Um, I don't know how to describe what it looks like. It's just a <laughs> it's just a sticky outy bit <laughs> on, on on the UK. Not the bit at the bottom, which is like the, the leg sticky outy leg. It's the bit above that. That's that's Wales. The sticky outy leg bit is where Jen is. Yeah, that's where Jen is from the sticky outy leg bit, and we're from the um, the sticky outy dragon head horse cow head thing. So that, that's what we. That's where we are. What? I can't. You know, how would you describe Wales like in comparison to the UK? You'd say we're kind of the, the western lead thing. It's the knee exactly. That, there you go. Um, <laughs> I'm in Florida. Oh, I, I know where Florida is. I don't know if you can wait that long. It's, not, it's only Monday, Lou. Don't worry. Um, we've got bundles on the weekend as well. We've got some cool stuff coming. Um, wish we could pre-order. Yeah, it would be cool to pre-order. Oh, we got this week in the bundles. It's crap perfect uh, weekend. So if you want to top up on Amazing. your card stock, all there for you. Um, you guys should do some dragon adorables. That would be. I like that. Yeah. We're we'll talking about adorables at the moment because you know you guys love them. Um, and thanks for everyone just saying, you know, like letting us know that, that you enjoy them. Because, you know, stamps, we we do stamps now and again and we do bits and pieces. We do lots of paper craft stuff and it's cool to know what you guys are liking and enjoying. And, and it helps us know where to go then. And you, you guide us when we move forward. Well, I've heard of Welsh before, but I couldn't understand them. If they were speaking Welsh, you almost certainly wouldn't have. Some parts of Wales, like... Some parts in, we don't even yeah, understand. Yeah, you can't, we can't even understand. There's... Um, like Dan's a Welsh speaker. I'm. I don't. I don't speak the language myself. Um, you don't speak it too well. A mm, little bit. I understand a little bit, but yeah. I don't really. I couldn't hold a conversation. But I say, if you go to North Wales, they you know a lot of them speak Welsh, like fluent Welsh up there. So me being from South Wales, I can feel like a foreigner going up hard, hard to North Wales. Well. It's a harsher yeah. accent coming from so North Wales. Yeah, uh, lots of. <laughs> And those sort of sounds. And then, like, it tends to be that most of North Wales has uh, more Welsh sounding towns and, and whatnot in general, so, and villages, etc. So, it's harder, it's, it's harder to be there if you don't speak English. Yeah, it, uh, it is, yeah. You can get by, it's not like an issue. Uh, no, uh, cause they, they do, but. They do speak English. It's like yeah. being in rural France, yeah. like where yeah. they, they don't really like to speak it. Uh, like. No. <laughs> so, but, but, but they you've will. Got, like, you've got, uh, for example, like Aberystwyth, um, which is too sound. It's like the English translation. Like, but That's more on the on the cow's nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As but, no one described it ever. So, um, <laughs> you were the geography teacher with a sense of humour. <laughs> I, yeah. I just don't think from my own like from my own mind. Like I just don't know what like. Just the sort of man. Dan, Dan speaks Welsh but sounds English It's because he's quite posh Welsh How dare you <laughs> How dare you good sir <laughs> I challenge you to a duel Where's my, where's my glove I'll smack you across your face no, we're, we're, uh, we're no, from no. the south like, We're from, from south Wales we're, I think I, the reason I find that I think personally that's the, why I sound so posh English uh, if I do, I don't think I do. posh Welsh. You can tell posh you're Welsh, Welsh, but... Okay. Um, it's more... Because uh, Welsh was my first language, uh, I learned English from... I didn't learn English until I was about five. You, you watched it from Keeping Up Appearances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched, uh, like, BBC News 24-7. <laughs> and that's how I learned English. Uh, so I got BBC English. <laughs> that's well. not... So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, yeah. Dan? Um, yes, that was what I did as a kid. Yeah. When I was six years old. My mum would just find me just like Poltergeist style. 
with your feet on the back of the yeah, sofa. Yeah, I'm upside down. <laughs> As you do. Uh, loving your colour. Um, loving your, uh, the colour in uh, Alison. They were all enjoying it. Oh, um, well, I'm enjoying um, Yeah, we've got yeah, loads of this. Um, yes, yeah. oh, I'm glad you, you enjoy it. Yeah, it's not... Uh, yeah, it wouldn't take that much. I'd go and, uh, Alison Whedon, your colouring is beautiful. They look gorgeous. They, they, say, Alice, your colouring is looking awesome. Thank um, you very much. Oh, my mum is from South Glamorgan. Oh, whereabouts is she from, Sharon? Um, yeah, oh, if you've not seen before, this is our glitter gloss. And we've also got my dust touch as well, which is very, very similar, but has a gold effect. So it doesn't alter the colours, it just gives a lovely sheen on top of everything. So you can put whatever colours you fancy underneath. What am I looking for? I've got a brown here. I've gotten to colour in the middle. Um, so will there be mail project friendly inserts, like cogs, to, to make sure you can go in there? Well, you could you could adapt some of the mixed media dies and, yeah. and, and include them on there. Uh, there's not a cog set with these, like to, to go with them directly. But yeah, you could uh, use some of your... Previous, you could definitely make them as a, a mixed media one, not a mixed media one, like a steampunk sort of one would be would be awesome, like re really cool, sort of worn. Could you imagine the effects you can get and all those? Because people do all the sort of things that look like screws and they do, and they do all, all that they cool do. stuff. Um, Sue says Dan, <laughs> Dan Bucket, but it's pronounced bouquet. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just popping a little ribbon through the base. Whatever you pop in then into the big pocket is kind of held in by your ribbon. Yeah, my, first, my actual name, or my full name anyway, is uh, Daniel Samuel Edgerton III. <laughs> it's down to yeah. third, isn't it? Yeah. My mother, <laughs> it was always my mother. I didn't know you. She had a neighbour when she was growing up whose name was Georgie Brandon Even Edward Arthur Price. Oh my God. <laughs> and as a little one, he went by the name of um, Georgie. It's easier than the full name. Yeah. <laughs> but then as he was a, an adult then, he went by Brandon. Did he? Yeah, he changed that, his that's name. That's good. It gives you the choice. You do have a choice. <laughs> but but you, I kind of never forgot his name somehow. <laughs> no. And then, uh, you, I mean, a lot of people with middle names do that. Yes. Like do you, have you got a middle no. name? No. No. My mother hated oh, her middle name, so, Emmy, she, yeah. so she never. Didn't, you didn't, she didn't like it, so she didn't give me one. My dad hasn't got one either. Do you, um, would, um, would you like one? I would have liked a middle name. She said, I know. I'm such a deprived child. <laughs> <laughs> she did I say never even had a middle name growing up. We didn't even have a middle didn't name. <laughs> couldn't afford a middle name. <laughs> we had nothing. Ooh, we didn't. What's that the first sketch in there? Is, uh, <laughs> she did say I was going to be Alison Jane at one point. That's. Oh, you had first names, did you? Oh, you were, you were lucky. <laughs> we didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. So there we go. There's your ribbon threaded to, through. And then you pull the base as tight or as loose as you want to. So I've done that one a bit loose. The tighter you pull it, um, it doesn't always stand. So you need more to get a good base on it. This one won't stand there with three, but it will lie on your desk so it depends on what you want the function of it to be as to how tight you pull your ribbons so there's a little bow on the bottom now tidy it up trim it off um yeah justine says now i've got your attention any any news on the a4 refills please we're having a um so with all the memory books coming in, I know there's a lots of stuff coming in on the first sort of week of July. So we'll check on them, we'll find out, because yeah, they won't be too far too far away. Sarah says, my mum didn't have a middle name. My dad's middle name was his mother's surname. That's a nice way to keep it. Yeah. Keep it flowing. Uh, my friend Jack, his middle name is Jack. Because uh, there's a tradition of the your name, is that the first born child or just your first child, uh, David, in, this, in his family? So now his dad's David as well. I can't imagine having the same name. You know, some people have the same name as their dad, and like, yeah, and they call him Ju like Junior or something. Well, uh, yeah. And th thankfully, not his middle name is the same. But like, so the, I I think the family tradition is that you give them a different middle name to yours, I guess. So then it's like David. They something. can go by that. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It seems like a weird one. <laughs> like, there's a lot of people. What like did that, you have? I think, but, 
We had William Williams in school with me. William we had Williams. William Williams. David Davis. Dee Dee, they usually call people like that, yeah. don't they? Yeah. yeah. So. We well, talked about it before, where it's like people, their parents don't think of the potential consequences of like <laughs> uh, naming children certain things. <laughs> well, Magnus Magnuson, he did Question Time, didn't he? Yes, he did it for years. His but daughter also, does it. But I, I think like a lot of people in, in Scandinavia. Um, Marie will have to tell me this from, from Sweden, but there's like a, a high percentage of people with like similar names. Like mm. there's like more than in, in Wales, you have a lot of surnames which are Thomas, Jones, Davis, Davis, Lewis. This they're quite popular like names in South Wales, but I think in Scandinavia it's even more yeah. narrow. There's like about three surnames, and everyone's called like the, <laughs> everyone's called Carlson. I think, I think uh, yeah, uh, it's Iceland, isn't it? It's got like a population of like 300,000, I think. Um, and like, there's because it's such a small community as well, it turns out most people are related um, in some capacity. Yeah. Because there's only 300,000 on the island total. There had only been a few people there initially. Um, yeah, so no, but yeah. said to be places in Wales. Like yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think I've been to a few of them, yeah. <laughs> so, this one we popped on Cherished Places. And the other one I've got Reminders. Um, I just want a little bowl to finish it off now, and then we're done. So I've kind of showed you everything that's in the set. There are little panels on the side. There's one that will cut out a little panel that you can decorate the sides here. Um, you've seen some of the boxes decorated. And then there's one then that will just cut a pattern into the die. And I think that's it. I've shown you all of them now. Oh, you yeah, lovely project. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. You're gonna see like loads and loads of loads of nice stuff uh, on Monday uh, on Crate I and Craft TV. Can't wait to see what you design with it because those of you that love a bit of paper engineering, yeah, you were gonna come up with some you've gotta get, amazing. You've stuff. You've got to see some some of the like that's a taste, all right. Some of the stuff which is on there is just mad. Like you just like Vicky's made it. Mm mm. And that's done then. And I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> it sounds like you just can't say it because it's rude. <laughs> is that how we're not doing it? It's not rude, promise. It's not rude. It's massive as well, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's absolutely giant mm -mm, on, uh, on Monday. <laughs> but I know it's a project that you're going to love when you see it. Um, oh gosh, I it? can't think what else. What colour was it? Red. Red. I don't know which, which one was because we we had all the projects out, but had, I don't know who's who's. They've gone for photographing there. Yeah, they've they gone, they gone for photography. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you you know you, there are a couple more secrets. Yeah. Oh wait, to come. Uh, it's like a ready pink colour, isn't it? Uh brick red it is. Okay, I think I know which one. And black. Mm. Um, the someone uh, said. Yeah, um, Christina, if you have a Welsh management side by side, you would know the difference. I guess it's like it's like someone. It's basically like someone from Scotland and and England, except what, well, Wales hasn't had the PR that Scotland has, no. has had. Like, or Ireland, for example. Yeah, or Ireland. Mm. Yeah, we, we just we haven't got kilts or anything. We've got no. more like, I don't know what we've well, got. Well, we do have traditional Celtic But we don't, but we're not, not really. Just Well, we had a Welsh costume, didn't we? But I mean, that only comes out on a national day. It hasn't translated, I had a lovely little message from it's Marie earlier. Yeah. It's only like, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> just going back to traditional things you know we were talking she sent um a graduation card on monday yeah, yeah. and i said oh the little girl looks like she could be a nurse graduating yeah, she had yeah. a little cap when well, marie told me that it's a graduation cap that's awesome and it? they have lots of different things different things they put on the front of them that's cool for the, so, for the different ones yeah yeah cool it was lovely thank you marie for messaging me oh yeah marie's projects are always uh, always brilliant um yeah lots of lovely people there's going um yeah yeah it's going to be going uh, going on on monday uh, on create and craft these index but um yeah concertina boxes concertina index box which is going on on monday it's a new size never done anything like this before so it's going to be on monday for you to enjoy um just check the this since it's going to be on monday uh, anything else I need to know? Yeah, the stamps will be on there too. So all these, you know, lovely designs you would have seen with sort of stamp sort yeah. of things, they'll be on there too for you to see. And there's loads, 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 loads and loads, loads going on. Friday we'll have a, a bit of a bit of fun, like a craft battle or something like that. And we'll just we always have fun anyway. It's not well, this. It's not this is the we serious show. We don't really show. do serious. It's not this is the serious show, but yeah, brilliant, mate, Carl. Everyone's loved it. Um, 
you put they could go together so you can yeah. see how easy it is to make them bigger yeah you just carry on as you just much as you want take it as far as you want to go uh with these same as you have with a memory book same as you have with your yeah. index boxes same as you have with your tags and things like that when they arrive you're gonna love them so have a great evening everyone enjoy yourselves and we'll see you tomorrow for the daily and then friday for craft battle see you soon everyone yeah. bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.